All right, cool. So I want to cover uh, another very like super quick, quick training before we kind of open it up. I have a couple announcements and then we're going to go into general discussion Q&A. Uh, I'm going to pass it back to Steven. Steven's just being the man today. And that is around email signatures. So if anybody's seen our email signature re recently, it's not like it's the coolest thing in the world, but I guess I'll open up an email so people can understand what I'm saying. So there's our new email signature. It's this GIF of a fire, looks really nice. And then if you look at it long enough, there's an Easter egg. That's not a photo, it's actually a video. So each of us, we have a little video in our signature. And, and here, I thought mine was pretty cool. I think yours is pretty cool. But I think, you know, when we talk about branding, it's like, and you know, our whole thing's like, try and stand out, try and stand out, try and stand out. And it's like, we should really, with everything, even our email signature, we should really try and do something cool. So I just, you know, again, like probably two, three, five minutes, we're just going to have Steven show us how do we even do an animated signature? And then that'll lead into uh, another quick announcement. Cool. Yeah, I'll share up my screen. Yeah. But I'll just jump into the Canva template of all the ones we created for our team. So basically it's just compiled together. So, and I can also show how we put the videos and use them in Canva with the background removal tool, which is within the pro side. Let me get this block out of my way. But yeah, so we have like the ones here. And then, so it started out, we just had like these videos shot in a white background. And then Canva has a pretty sweet feature um, that we use a lot in our campaigns too. Like edit video, you can use background removal and then click that. And that's how it turned out to be like how we have Tahir's here. It does a really good job. Adobe is screwed. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we put the video in here, integrated our badge, and then just a video in the background pulled from Canva video, just in the elements. And this one in the background is a pro one since we were using it for just MSV camp. But well, I guess you want to make your announcement later. Do you want to make it now? Well, yeah. Like ties in. Yeah. So we're trying to implement email, like animated email signatures that you can use for your MSP on MSP camp. And then that will just integrate cool free animations, things in the background that you can use yourself. Yeah. Because we actually see a lot of people using the MSP camp current templates of signatures and they're good but i'm like man if, if people are going to be actually using the signature templates we're going to make them animated like this so that way like you know we'll just have some cool technology they can change the colors of the video so it actually matches their brand so that'll be coming what do you think let's just start knocking it out <laughs> we'll start right, it next, next week. week yeah <laughs> so we'll roll it out next week but so after you have them inside of canva and then it's the same as other content you can share download and then download specifically as a gif and then um, it takes a little bit to download. I actually already downloaded just the one for mine for this example. But yeah, so I'll take it. This is the downloaded version. Bring it up here. Just verify that it's still working. Yep, all good. And then- How so big is that, uh, does that signature file become? I'm actually not sure. I don't believe it's too large just because it's a GIF rather than a video. And it's also not like, if you, it's not super- if HD. You, I think. If you open file, you'll be able to see the like size next to it. <clears throat> you guys see the animated profile photos too? Actually, on the um, on the, what is it? You guys see the animated profile photos too? For, oh, Have you ever seen those before? On LinkedIn. Hold on one second. There. I hope you're not able to hear like the guy cutting his time. breaths outside. Can you? A little bit. Nothing yeah. crazy though. Um, real quick, um, I just wanted to let you know if uh, if Canva is a bit cost prohibitive for you to have the Pro, but you have Apple, you can actually get Enlight Studios for like fifty dollars a year, and it gives you access to uh, um, Photo Fox, a, a video video leap and Photo Leap and things like that, which will do ba basic background removals and things like that with no additional charge. It's like a yearly subscription. It's so worth it. I use it myself, so um. You know, even if you just have an iPhone, you move it over there, boom. Nice. I mean, a lot of us are taking our videos with it. So it's um, it's good to have, you know, something that's right there that you could quickly edit, you know, on the fly. If you don't have Canva Pro, you know, you can you can just send it to Canva already stripped and ready to go. Nice. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's about five megs, which is kind of big, but you can, we can always, you can always compress to, to something smaller. But we haven't really seen any issues with it. But yeah, it's integrated pretty thought, well though. with the I really emails. Think about that. But I can yeah, my like Canva Canva's like thirteen bucks a month, but like you know, um, the 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 suggestion I was talking about was fifty a year, so that's actually less money. Gotcha. All and right. you can like drop in your background and everything on that on that app and just move it right over. Good stuff. Hey, Mike. Mike's here. Yay! All right. 
So we, so yeah, so I just wanted to show you all like email signatures. You're sending emails all day. Well, and I can share up my actual outlook too to show the second part of this as okay, well. Cool. I just forgot my screen is still shut, stuck on this one. <clears throat> yeah, within Outlook specifically, so how you would take that GIF and integrate it. So I just opened a new email and then... I think they all know how to do that. Oh, okay. I'm talking like, a bunch of IT it. people. <laughs> but, well, let me show the, <laughs> but yeah, you can show the new new signature. Okay, it's not cool according to Tahir, but I figured I should... All of this applies if you don't use Mac. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you use Mac, then... You're pretty much screwed. Well, make a change. <laughs> so. Aw. I'm just kidding. But yeah, so get out of here and then save. Some of us would argue the opposite, but... You yeah. know, you can do those signatures at the edge. You know, I mean, that way you don't have to do them inside of Outlook. So those of you with Macs still don't have that issue. Hmm. All right. Nice. Good stuff. What did you say? I'm sorry. I missed the, you could do it where at the end? You can do them at the edge, like on the outbound, right? So when you go to like Office 365, right, you can, you can attach... Uh, it there and the signatures will automatically attach to all outbound email automatically and then you can do your your signatures because that's how we do it for all of our all of our customers okay i'm sending you a virtual hug thank you yeah that's a, yep so jacob just said exclaimer yeah. exactly how we used it to exclaimers what we did yep perfect good stuff yeah exclaimers is a is a great product i think that's actually the one that we use yeah, we we got, boss got me like a brand new Mac, so I'm not going to be like, I need a new computer, just like an email signature. Yeah, you're Well, if you're not the boss, then yeah, you do need a new computer. But if you are the boss, then use Exclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, use, we're using Steve, we're using Code 2. We're only using oh, Code 2. Our G Suite clients, because it's it's a lot more limited than Code 2 is. Nice. Gotcha. Because Code 2 will pull the uh, picture right out of Azure. So if you go and put all the stuff in Azure with your picture and everything like that, that all gets pulled into Code 2 dynamically creating signatures and stuff. So a little better. Jamie's already off and running. Look at her go. Nice. Hey, if I can't figure this out, I might message you on the side um, on MSP. Camp. Hey man, can I, uh, can I get yeah. a little bit of pointer on that? Thank you. See, now that the site's faster, thanks to Todd Curtis, who's now, now on the call. He's the one that was the, the, the needle that broke. The, what is it? Anyway. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now that the fast speed of the sites fast, y'all can actually message each other and it's fun. It's not slow. Yeah, it's awesome. So perfect. I just, I just content idea. Um, Taher, why don't you have Maddie do a tech technology tidbit on or tech tip on the uh on on adding those Outlook signatures to for Mac users? Um, we can do that. Maddie will have to buy you a Mac. Sorry. <laughs> All right, cool. You will have to buy the Mac. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because I mean, he said you could just do it through the browser, so you don't actually yeah, have to. Run it. It. Yeah, that's a good point. We that's... had a note to do one of those, so I'll add that note specifically. All right, cool. And we'll use a GIF. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs>